Hello kids. In this video, we will learn what is a pattern. And we will learn to recognize patterns around us. Today is Sher Khan's mother's birthday. Sher Khan has decided that he will buy a cake and a sari for his mother as a gift from the money saved in his piggy bank. Sher Khan is waiting to cross the road. He saw signs of such a zebra crossing on the way. Sher Khan immediately started thinking, Here are marks on the road. After a black band, there is a white band, then a black band, and then a white band. Okay, these strips are making a pattern of sorts. Yesterday I learned about it in class and today I can see an example of this as well. Children, do you know what patterns are? A pattern is a group of numbers or objects in such a way that all objects are related to each other by some rule. For example, here there is one black band at the zebra crossing and then the other one is a white band and these are repeating to form the colors of the strips in this way. This is an example of a pattern in which Colors are being repeated according to a rule. Let's see what other patterns Sher Khan saw. There is this kind of a gate outside the shop from which Sher Khan went to buy cake. Sher Khan started thinking, Oh wow! How beautiful is this gate! How many different shapes are made in it? Then, Sher Khan looked at the gate more closely and thought, What is this? There is a pattern in this too. Children, can you tell what pattern Sher Khan sees in this gate? You can stop the video and think about it for a while. If we look at the gate carefully, we will find that here a triangle is formed first. Then after that, one square is formed. And finally, a circle shape is formed. After the circle, the three shapes are repeated once again in the same order. In this way, a pattern has been made using shapes in this gate. Sher Khan was happy to recognize the pattern on the gate. Now, he went inside the shop to buy a cake for his mother. In the shop, Sher Khan saw many beautiful cakes. Sher Khan liked this cake very much among them. When Sher Khan looked closely at this cake, he also saw a pattern on the cake. Children, can you recognize this pattern? Here, this pattern is made by rotating the same shape in four different ways and then repeating the group of those four shapes again and again. Sher Khan bought the cake 
and he has now come to buy a sari for his mother. The sari shop has beautiful saris of various designs. Sher Khan liked a sari of this design very much. Sher Khan noticed that this sari also has a unique pattern. Children, can you find this pattern? Here, a pattern having three, two, and one leaves of the same shape is repeating, thereby forming a pattern. Sher Khan bought the sari and returned home excitedly. On returning home, he gave the gifts he bought to his mother. Sher Khan's mother was very happy to see Sher Khan's gifts. Children, in this video, we learned what is a pattern and we learn to recognize patterns around us. In the next video, we shall learn more about recognizing different patterns by some interesting examples. Hello kids! In the last video, we learned what is a pattern and we learned to recognize patterns around us. In this video, we will learn more about recognizing different patterns by some interesting examples. Golu and Babban are playing at Golu's house. Suddenly, Babban's gaze went to Golu's table. Babban immediately called Golu and said, Look, this is such a beautiful pattern that you have made on your table, Golu. Golu is unable to recognize patterns. Kids, can you recognize the pattern on Golu's table? If you want, you can stop the video and find the answer. Children, in order to identify the rule of any pattern, you just have to see what is being repeated in that pattern. Here, a group of yellow flowers and blue flowers is formed and then a pattern is being made by repeating this group again and again. Babban also explained to Golu how he could find the rule of this pattern. Golu became very happy learning about finding patterns. He told Babban, why not play a game and find more patterns hidden in his house? Babban and Golu started to find more patterns in Golu's house. Golu looked at the clock hanging on his wall and immediately pointed at the clock to Babban and said, Look, Babban, this is a kind of pattern in my watch as well. Can you understand what the pattern of this pattern is? Children, can you also find the rule of pattern made in Golu's clock? Yes! Here, a group of white, red, and green strips are repeated in order to form a pattern. Golu and Babban also saw a unique pattern 
on the curtain of Golu's house. Can you find the rule of this pattern made on the curtain? If you want, you can stop the video and find the answer. Well done kids! Your answer is absolutely correct. Here, a group has been formed by rotating this one shape in different ways and then by repeating this group of shapes again and again a unique beautiful pattern has been made. Golu and Babban were very happy playing a game of finding unique patterns of Golu's house. Kids, you can also play a game of finding unique rules of the pattern with your friends around you. In this video, we learned how to recognize different patterns. In the next video, we will see some interesting examples of completing incomplete patterns. Hello kids! In the previous video, we learned how to recognize different patterns. In this video, we will see some interesting examples of completing incomplete patterns. One day, Bola and Bunny got lost in a weird and unique forest. What is so unique in this forest? There are some incomplete patterns in this place. Bola and Bunny saw this board. It is written on the board. As you continue to complete these incomplete patterns, you will see the way out of the forest. At first, Bola and Bunny saw such a pattern on the door of a house. Here, only one door has a pattern. Bhola and Bunny together are completing this unfinished pattern. Children, can you also complete this incomplete pattern? If you want, you can stop the video and find the answer. Yes! The petal of the flower on which the diagonal design is made here is seen in the petal next to it in the next flower. Just like you did, Bhola and Bunny completed the pattern of the second door by finding the rule of this pattern. As soon as Bola and Bunny completed the pattern on the door, they magically saw an arrow sign on the way out. Bola and Bunny quickly walked in that direction of that arrow. At some distance, they saw a curtain between two trees. The curtain is divided into two parts. This kind of a pattern is made on one part of the curtain. Bhola and Bunny thought that if they make that pattern on the other side of the curtain and 
then pull both the curtains closer then they will be able to complete that incomplete pattern as well children can you help bunny and bola in completing this pattern well done your answer is absolutely correct here in the pattern of the curtain a group of such red green blue and yellow arrows is repeated thereby making the pattern bhola and bunny made this pattern on the other side of the screen with your help and then pull the two curtains closer and completed the pattern as soon as the pattern was completed bunny and bhola once again saw another arrow sign on their way to the exit bunny and bhola started moving in the direction of that arrow this time they saw an earthen pot on the way such type of an incomplete pattern is made on the pot children can you complete this pattern you can find the answer by stopping the video well done children you have completed this pattern perfectly here this pattern is made by repeating a group of 1 2 3 and 4 triangles this time as soon as bunny and bola completed the pattern of the pot the exit gate appeared in front of them bunny and bola both rushed out of the jungle excitedly through this exit gate as soon as they managed to exit the jungle both of them started dancing happily in this video we saw some interesting examples of completing incomplete patterns